Temple number 23, Yakaoji, the Medicine King Temple. This temple is tucked away on a little hill overlooking the seashore. This town, temple was founded by Gyogi in the 8th century and is the temple, the greatest the temple known for protecting yourself against dangers of misfortune due to your age. It's believed in under certain Japanese beliefs that on certain ages are uh, you will be beset by misfortune. So here's where you'll wash your hands. At the age of 42, Kobo Daishi performed exorcism here to prevent public disaster. He also, in the orders of Emperor Heijo, carved the statues of Yakushi and 12 other gods of the sun, moon, and stars uh, to turn aside the dangers associated with his being 42 years of old. Uh, here are the uh, beautiful nyo at the gate. The Hon Zone is popular, popularly known as the backward facing Yakushi uh, deity. The entrance is up some stairs, of course, as it's tucked in the hill, and a bunch of lanterns donated by parishioners. As you come to the end of this lantern path, you come to some stairs that with some magical powers depending on what year you were born. These bottom set of stairs are particularly for women, and I'll explain them as I walk my walk up. In Japan, there are certain unlucky years in a person's life. For a man, the dangerous ages are 41, 42, 51, 52, 60, and 61. For a woman, they are 19, 30, 33, 37, 51, and 61. The stairway approaching is designed to ward off bad luck in these years. Uh, for the women's size, there are 33 stairs on the climbing up. Uh, for pilgrims, age is an unlucky year as they approach it, they can come and they often place a coin on each of the stair climbing all the way up uh, for it on reaching the top. Uh, and then this next set of stairs is for uh, the man side has 42 steps. And here we can see uh, for men uh, because it's a little out of season. No one has actually placed any coins on these stairs for their unlucky years. So if you happen to come here, you want to your unlucky year times, by all means, uh, place a coin on each step as you go up to ward off malfortune. And when you get to the top, there's actually a Special uh, a lot of talismans you can buy, and someone manning at all times of day. Well, they just closed, I guess. But all types of talismans you can buy if it's a bad luck year for you. And here's a chart for this year, knowing what your bad luck years are. There are a large number of buildings on this temple. Since the time of Kobodaishi, emperors have often sent embassies here to pray and exercise, and the temple has been under special government control. At the top of the first set of chairs is the place where you get your book signed, and a bathroom, and the bell, but the bell appears to be locked, so we can't actually ring it. So look at the bell. Not sure who uh, these figures are. They look actually not sure who they are. This is the Daishi Do and some sculptures on the way over to the uh, Hondo, the main hall. The 28, uh, the 20 pillars of the Hondo are said to represent the 20 astral deities. Uh, the temple burned down in 1188 and the Honzon was seen to fly away to a distant hillside. A new statue was carved when the temple was rebuilt, but during the dedication ceremony, 
the original statue is Sita flown back. Both statues now sit inside the temple back to back. Uh, the main feature of this temple is the pagoda, very unusual structure and style for Japan up there on the hill that can be seen from miles away. Uh, anywhere you are, you can see it, so I'll walk up to there now. Another little structure on the way up to the pagoda. The pagoda. And there is the view from up on this hillside, a modern castle on the other side, kind of just a tourist attraction with not a lot of actual historical significance, I believe. This area definitely has to be magnificent when the blossoms are all blooming. And here's a here is a view of the main hall and the Daishido from up here. This is Temple 23, Yakuoji, the Medicine King Temple.